in book two, chapter eight of The Sun Also Rises, weeks pass without Jake hearing from Brett or Cone. Although he tries to keep up with their gossip as he prepares for his trip to Spain in June. Jake will be traveling with his friend, fellow writer, Bill Gordon. Bill has been traveling through America and Europe promoting his new book, which has done well, but he arrives back in Paris suddenly. He tells Jake he was so drunk in Vienna that he cannot remember what happened. Slowly, the memories come back to him, and he recounts a tremendous boxing match in which a black boxer, who Bill refers to as a wonderful N-word, obliterated a local boy, and Bill helped his escape from the outraged locals. As the two reminisce, they run into Brett, who has returned from San Sebastian and plans to meet her fiancé, Mike, later that night, and they all agree to meet for a drink later. Bill and Jake have some drinks and a meal in the meantime, and when they're feeling nice and drunk, they meet up with Brett and Mike at the cafe. Mike, who's also quite drunk, keeps calling Brett a lovely piece. The men chat about an upcoming boxing match and whether they'd like to attend. The reader finally meets Brett's fiance, Mike, in this chapter. Mike and the Count are incredibly similar in their objectification of Brett. Just as the Count repeatedly called Brett my dear, Mike calls Brett a lovely piece. Just as with the Count, Brett allows the demeaning behavior. Jake notes that Brett can't go anywhere alone, which explains why she stays with Mike even though she doesn't love him. Bill's experiences in America help characterize the lost generation. He tells a rambling story about his travels, which he originally claims not to remember at all. The memories are unpleasant, prompting Bill to drink heavily in order to forget them. Bill represses memories, which is something Hemingway characterizes as typical of the lost generation. And furthermore, Bill's rambling story also speaks to the era in which phrases like wonderful N-word were acceptable, even though they are rightly, shockingly, and totally offensive to readers today. Although Bill's role in the novel is essentially as comic relief, he has a close friendship with Jake. Jake seems to be more comfortable with Bill than any of his other friends, certainly close enough to travel alone with Bill, which he was not comfortable doing with Cone. Despite being drunk, Bill speaks clearly on many topics, including Brett's beauty and his shared view with Jake about relationships as transactions. Simple exchange of values. You give them money, they give you a stuffed dog. For Bill and Jake, relationships involve an exchange, typically of money. This creates a sense of order and fairness in the world, possibly to balance the randomness and chaos of war. 